Hello, today we will be going over how to use our free built-in photo editing program, PicMonkey. We recommend using Google Chrome or Firefox for the best user experience. Step 1. Go to www.inkforcakes.com. Once you get to our website, look at the very top for photo editing and click on it. You will need to sign in with your free Ink for Cakes account. If you don't have an account, you can also sign in with Facebook or create an account at the very bottom. Once you see the screen, you are ready to begin. So once we have the program open, we can upload our own image. We can do it from Facebook account, OneDrive, Dropbox, or Flickr. In this case, we're going to upload it from the computer. We select the picture we want to edit or work on, and we proceed to adjust. There are several options. You don't necessarily have to use all of them. We're going to try to go through most of them just to give you an idea and to show you different things you can do. So first, you can crop your image to improve the composition or just to make it more um, in accordance with the format you're going to work with. So we apply. You can rotate your image if you need it. With exposure, you can control the brightness, the amount of light, the shadows and the contrast. We're just going to add a little bit of contrast for some more drama. In colors, you can increase the vibrance or the colors or make it duller. I'm just going to keep it in a middle point. In the temperature will allow you to go whether to a warmer side of the spectrum or to a cooler side and hence the blues. Again, we're going to keep it balanced. You can sharpen the image, it was blurry, but in this case we're going to keep it normal. You can increase the clarity for more light and definition as well as for more contrast. We're not going to resize, but with resize you can change the size. If you do, please keep uh, make sure you check and keep the proportions so your image won't get distorted. So after we're done with basic edits, we're going to go ahead and jump to the fun part, the effects. Here you're going to find several filters, some are popular than others, you're probably familiar with some. And what these are going to do, you're, they're going to subtle, subtly change the appearance of the image, like you can see. So you can go through all of them until you find one that gets closer to what you want to achieve with your picture. In my case, I'm going to uh, choose cross process. So all of them are going to have different options, but for the most part they're going to work very similar. Here I can choose my filter color, and I'm going to stick with blues. You can fade it to make it more transparent, or keep it intense. I'm going to keep it somehow intense. The brush is so you can remove it from certain areas. So we're going to pick, just to show you, I'm going to adjust the size of my brush. You can adjust the hardness and the strength. But as you can see, I can go ahead and get rid of the effect in some parts. Or I can recolor it if I want to by selecting effect. Hit apply. You can mix and mingle the different effects. In this case, I'm going to fade it and I'm going to delete it from some parts just to bring back the, the cool purples in her hair. And we're going to hit apply. These are extra effects that are going to give you uh, some more details. Here you have, for example, a boost if you want to make it really vibrant. I'm going to use it, but I'm going to fade it a little bit. Soften it to make it more like a dreamy effect. You can use black and white. You can select different color filter, so your shades of black will vary. You can add dark edges if you wish to. Frosty edges. Sepia, if you want to give it an old effect, and again, you can change the temperature and fade it. Different types of sepia and black and white. 
and sends out different effects. Here in paint box, you can add or kind of layer some more subtle effects. For example, I want to do ombre. And again, you can fade it and you can change the color. I'm going to pick a purple. I want to make it too pink. You can change the direction. You can increase or decrease the amount. In light, you can add different speckles of light. I'm going to use bokeh shapes. You can choose the different shapes. I'm going to choose the stars. You can reduce or increase the size. And again, this is for deleting some of them. You can vary the size of your brush. Just going to keep a few of them. In general, you can just play with all of these. You can add different focus or focal points, focal black and white, if you just want to keep the color in a certain area. And you can add some other artsy filters. And you can add shapes if you wish. You can change the texture and so and so. If you are working with faces, this program has a very peculiar feature, the touch of feature. Here you can basically modify the skin and pretty much add makeup to the person. Blemish fix, for example, would let you get rid of little imperfections. You can modify your brush size with a couple clicks, and the imperfection that you find on the skin can be removed. Airbrush you would use if you want to make if you want to make the skin appear a little bit smoother wrinkle remover you could use it in areas around the eyes for example we're not going to use in these skins shine reduce you would use if there's too much um, brightness or too much white in certain parts of the skin so just with one clean it will matte it up a little bit you can add color to it. Here are your different color palettes, or you can choose your own. You can choose the brush size, and you can just add a little bit of color to the cheeks. And again, you can fade or make it more intense. It's up to you. Spray tan if you want to darken some parts of the skin. We can do a little bit here just to give it more definition. And we can reduce the intensity as well. Teeth widening, if her teeth were to be a little bit yellow or if I wanted a little bit lighter, just easily come and make them a little bit brighter. Lip tint will be similar as the blush and the spray tan. You have your color palette. You can pick one color. You can bring your brush size, modify your intensity. And this will just change the color of the leaves if you wish to do it. Again, you can modify the tone, which will give you pretty much different colors. The intensity, if you want them very vibrant or more natural. You can do several things with the eyes as well. I'm not going to do much since I want to keep it some sort of natural. I think I've done enough already. But per se, you can go ahead and brighten up the eyes to make them a little bit more intense. You can fade this effect to kind of compare and see. You don't want to make them too sharp. You could change the tone of the eyes if you wish, but again, don't pick anything too crazy. And again, you can always fade it to make it look more natural and not so 
edited so per se if I was it was to make them a bit more hazily you could add the color and then you can always fade it so it doesn't look too green or too yellow but again this is completely optional you can add eyeliner mascara eyebrow pencil eyeshadow whatever you think you need to use in this case I could use a little bit of eyeliner but not to make it look like she's wearing any but really just to create a little bit more contrast in the eyes and again you can increase the amount or just fade it to give it a little bit of a shade you can go into further editing this will be more drastic weight loss will really just um, work with the width of your image I'm not gonna worry about that you can add highlights if you wish but again I'm gonna avoid this part right now so now that I've done all the beauty part that I wanted to we can go ahead and jump to the next step that would be text before we proceed to add the text uh, we got to take into account that in this particular image any message, any color, any shape is going to be hard to read because of the contrast and the pattern of her shirt. Some images might not have this issue, but if you're having this issue, it's very easy to fix. You can go to effects, you select burn, you select your brush size to kind of see the area that would darken up. And we start with light because this is going to somehow um, darken the very bright whites so it's basically a work on layers so you can see the difference now already and we can go to mild and to maybe a little bit in dark you can control the amount of darkness that you want we're going to hit apply and then we proceed to text. You can choose any font that you want. I'm going to use this first one. And again, here you can select your color. I'm going to choose something that somehow is going to match the tones in her face and hair. You can adjust the size if you wish. You can adjust the area that you have to work with. And then you proceed to type. you can center it some fonts will allow you to make it bolder or it it italics this type of font won't let me do that but I can always make it a little bit bigger okay. and then just move it down and as easy as that after I've introduced my text I'm gonna go ahead and embellish my image a little bit farther so we're gonna go to overlays and this is basically shapes and decorations like stems or items that you can introduce your image to give it a different touch I'm gonna use something very subtle I'm gonna start with a corner I'm gonna select this one you can place your corner every, any way you want it your item anywhere you want it you can select any color you wish you can increase or decrease the size and you can also fade it if you wish to just to give it a little bit more spice and to show you a little bit better what this does I'm going to add a little stamp I'm going to stamp, add the stamp of a bird you can flip the image any way you want place it wherever you want increase the size, decrease the size based on what you want to achieve and in some cases modify the colors if you want to repeat any of the colors inside the image you can choose the dropper tool and actually go through the image selecting any color that you wish All right. the amount of things and features you want to add to your picture is completely personal optional 
I'm gonna go ahead and use all these other elements just for you to see what they do. This is for a frame. As you can see, you can add all sorts of different frames to make your picture a little bit more interesting, a little bit more playful. In my case, I'm gonna go ahead and pick one of these frames. Let's go with this one. Alright. You can add some texture on top, whether it's your own. And since we already have the stars, we don't want to add too much. But we can go ahead and see what some of these do. You can add some light rays like that one. That you can move up and down based on what you want to achieve. You can increase or decrease the size. And again, these are all just different options, different effects. You can add actual textures, like spice texture. You can fade it in and out. Clouds. I'm going to stick with this one just to keep the colors of the image as intact as possible. I'm going to fade it a little bit. And there we go. Finally, I'm going to explain you our last category, that is themes. Themes is basically a combination of effects, text, and overlays, but is organized by different festivities. Or like for, for example, let's say that it's Halloween and you want to make a Halloween cake. Costume is just going to let you modify the image to make your, your photo, your portrait, make like a certain creature per se. In this case, you can add uh, white to the skin if you want to make it more like a vampire. You can add veins, different colors and so and so. You can modify the eyes, the teeth, add um, add blood stains and so. The effects is just going to give you more of an atmosphere as you can see. You're going to have different options. Overlays is like the little stamps that we added before. We have bats. We would like to add one or the other. Textures. As you can see, all associated with the holiday you choose. And finally, it's going to give you also a set of fonts that will match the style of the holiday. But like I said before, this is not something I'm going to use right now because my image is pretty much finished. And if you're familiar with all these other items, the final item is just going to be for a specific holiday. Thank you for watching this tutorial. We really hope you enjoy your free program and have fun baking!